Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, um, I actually was going to do another video, but I was filming just a regular repair, uh, replacement of a limit. Nothing special about that really, but I caught something on video, something that happened to me that's never happened before. You're going to have to watch to see it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the one where the high limit was showing me eight volts across it and it wasn't allowing it to fire up. I have my limit, so let's get to it. All right. Yesterday, all last night. So it worked yesterday and last night. Uh -huh. Warming up the house and everything. Well, that's kind of odd. Working out. All right, come on, yeah. Uh -huh. There he goes. Yep. Well, we know it failed that one time. So let's um let's go ahead and replace that limit. Talking about this yeah. at Home Depot. just since it's temperature. It just senses temperature and shuts it off if it gets too hot. It's still been working. <laughs> well, you know that one time it didn't, know. I know it. It might be the temperature going bad. Yeah, it wasn't, when I found it faulting out, oops, it didn't look like it was completely failing. Right. It was only partial. It was, it wasn't completely open. It was only partially open. Shocked me. 
something shocked. Yeah, something shocked me. Must be that hot surface igniter. I must have touched it. See if that thing will. I don't see where that screw went to. Be I didn't expect to get shot. Ain't no loose wire, doesn't mean it? No, not down in here. I'm not real sure what shocked me. I thought it was hot. No, something tingled the end of my finger. <laughs> yeah, I was cleaning on the inside of the house one time. And um, I took my cloth, the, the light fixture was so dirty around the um, edge of it. And I just wiped out, I just, well, I didn't even spray it. I just took a wet cloth and went across it like that. Man, that thing's, I mean, it bit me. I was like, whoa! <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is my flame sensor. I'm showing 98 volts on a flame sensor. That's what shocked me. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of volts, ain't it? I've never seen that many volts on a flame sensor. It's supposed to be low voltage. Let me see what color is that. That's red. supposed to be adjustable. up to the wrong spot how is it sensing a flame
Alright, I'm not showing 24 volts across that. Did it just satisfy the thermostat? I guess it did. I'm showing five volts on white. So. All right, that's a little bit of a mystery for me. Why did that thing shock me? All right, it came out of right here. Have y'all ever seen a board produce like 98 volts on a flame sensor? That's crazy. I thought it was supposed to be really low voltage. I've never seen that. Never. Okay, so that flame sensor was getting almost 100 volts, which makes me think I need to replace that control board. That can't be right. I'm sorry, that can't be right. They're supposed to get a small amount of AC voltage that is rectified by the flame to ground like a micro amp, a tiny little bit of voltage. It's never supposed to shock you like that. So, um... Yeah, y'all tell me if anything like that has ever happened to y'all. If it has, or you got comments about how much voltage that's supposed to get, put it in the comments. I'd like to see it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.